What's up everybody? Daniel Sun back. I'm here today to do a review and give you my thoughts and feelings on Puran Om de Quran um, by Quran Paris. Now I don't have a presentation to show you. I just have a two mil little sample decant thing. And uh, let me give you a little bit of information first. Quran Paris, a French niche founded in 1904. Um, this come out in 1934. Now, I sort of assume that it has been reformulated since 1934, but I don't know. There's not really any information about there if it's been reformulated. Who knows? It might not have ever been reformulated. I have no idea. I don't have any information. Um, but let me tell you the notes. I got the notes off uh, the website. It is vanilla, lavender, and musk. Sounds pretty good, right? Well, let's find out. I wasn't going to... I've been wearing this several times, like five times over the last few days. And I actually was not going to put this on for my review, but I decided to go ahead and do it for my review because I want it on my skin and I want to be able to experience while experience it while I tell you about it. Now the opening. The very, very opening is a very soft, powdery, lavender vanilla. But in about 15 or 20 seconds, it's going to change. Actually, it's already starting to change now. I'll tell you what it changes to. It goes from that powder, powdery, soft lavender vanilla, and it there's a funky, animalic, wet dog, sweaty smell that starts creeping in. And when I first wore this, I was like, the opening was sort of okay. It was a little bit generic and a little bit artificial, um, smelling lavender and vanilla. But when that funky animalic smell started coming in, I was like, what the hell is that? But I was like, all right, this probably won't last. It'll like develop into something else. I was wrong. It gets worse. Um, that funky animalic, it's hard to describe it. Like wet dog smell, it just like keeps on and on and on. And it stays that way all the way to the dry down. And it does fade. That animalic funky does fade and it just turns right back in to the first 10 seconds of this, of this fragrance, which is a powdery vanilla lavender and that's it and that it's this fragrance is almost like a combination of curas and a really cheap lavender bar soap like one of those little round flower looking soaps that you find in bathrooms that you're not supposed to use. It's sort of a combination of that little lavender bar soap thing and chorus with that animalic. And I'm just... I do not like this at all whatsoever. I know there's people out there that I've read that said this is a masterpiece. And I believe them. I believe what they say. And a lot of people say that this is one of the best men's fragrances out there. I believe them. But me, personally, nah, I just, I just can't. Nah, this is not for me. Not at all. Um, man. You know, I hate doing negative reviews. I really do, because... Somebody, I bet, worked really hard on this and spent a lot of time on making this. 
and I sort of feel bad on giving a really bad review, but if I'm going to do a review on a fragrance, I'm going to have to say how I feel and what I think of it, and this is a big thumbs down for me, you know, so. My suggestion is get a sample first, you know, unless you want to get 100 mil, you know, I can't tell you not to, but I would suggest getting a sample or a decant of this first because I'm really glad that I didn't get uh, 100 mil of this because I would end up probably giving it away or something, but I'm just not into it. I can appreciate it for what it is. And I know there's a lot of people out there that like it, but not, uh, not for me whatsoever. But anyway, that was pretty short and sweet, I guess, wasn't it? <laughs> uh, but anyway, I'll be back in a couple of days to do another review. Um, it is, what is today? January 19th. It's a Saturday, 2019. It is 67 degrees here in Charleston, South Carolina. And I picked out a fragrance. I think my, my fragrance of the day today is going to be Versace Dylan Blue. I think today would be a good day to wear this. But anyway, that's it for my review. Short and sweet. Way big thumbs down on this one. So anyway, I'll talk to you all in a couple of days. All right, I love you guys. Bye.